<laughs> Welcome everybody. <laughs> Nintendo Natalie, thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> what were you up to? Goodness gracious. Welcome on in, everybody. <laughs> Future Rush, welcome on in. Is it Sats28? Welcome, welcome. I, I love that. I love that piranha. I love that piranha so much. He's so cute. <laughs> Bebop, welcome on in. Mystical Ninja. Oh, that's the, the is that the Goemon one? Mystical Ninja? The Goemon? Yeah, okay. Pulse Voice knows that one. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> he had a Super Nintendo. I didn't have a Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> also Nan has. Sir Axel, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. I know, I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't want to be rude during a raid. I was like, oh, you know. <laughs> it was almost time anyway. It's 7-Eleven. It's, it's lucky. We got it. Yeah, that's that's my that's my favorite Life Force song right there. It's, it's called like it was called like Prominence or something like that. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> Fine. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I love the massive googly eyes on the guitar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I, we have uh, we have random random googly eyes <laughs> that we like to put on things. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. I, <laughs> I'm Lady Gallagher. I'm a I'm a certified Bob Ross instructor and. Um, I do Bob Ross style paintings. Sometimes landscapes like Bob Ross. Sometimes some video game stuff. So today, uh, we have a redemption for a, a Bob Ross painting called Ebony Sunset. So this is one that's on a black canvas, and those are, those are my favorite. I'm something of a googly eye guy myself. Heck yes. Heck yes. <laughs> I knew you. Who are you? <laughs> Ruler, welcome on in. And draw with, redeemed at first. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and Mad Dog, welcome. Knob Goblin, hope we're doing well. All right, cool. Watch how much better a real. <laughs> oh, you you did you did the digital version? Oh, I want to see. That's awesome. Digital's digital's tough. Digital is tough, man. I think I think. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So we just have 16 by 20 uh, black canvas. So a lot of can uh, canvases can come like this. I, I get a, usually get my canvases from Michaels. So I buy white canvases and black canvases. So this, is, this has already been gesso. Usually when I get it, I'll add like another coat of gesso just to make every, sure everything's like nice and nice and smooth. Shadow, welcome, welcome. All right. And since we've got a black canvas, we're going to cover the whole thing with liquid clear here. So I'm just gonna, just gonna dab some liquid clear all over. I dab it like that, that way I get like a nice even distribution. I can go back in and crisscross that in. I think it's harder than doing real paintings when you want it to look like a real painting. Exactly, because it's hard to get like that, the, the, the textures. <laughs> Lawrence Axio, thank you so much for the nine months. Goodness gracious. You get a bulk discount for buying so many canvases. Can, can, I know, I, I, keep, I keep wanting to say like, can, can buy. <laughs> kind of, they, they, they sell like, they do sell like five packs. So I usually get those. And sometimes they have like sales and stuff. So but sometimes I do that and we have a hype train going on. Thank you for that. And Trinket, thank you so much for the 26 months. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's good to see you, Trinket. I'll see if I can send a link to the Discord picture to polls. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Oh, I'm burping again. Ooh. I just had dinner not that long ago. So. I try to have dinner like about an hour before or more, <laughs> but you know, still burping. Just need a little bit more of that liquid clear there. Nancy Chair, welcome in. Boop. 
Just a little bit more of the liquid clear there. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm just gonna up and down, left and right. Just to make sure that's nice and even there. the excess here on my paper towel. Oh, Gigi Lauren Socks here, we got Ponyta Fire Horse. <laughs> Alrighty, already made my request or I didn't request you a song. Oh, no, no worries, <laughs> no worries. Yeah, we were, we were everything that comes out, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a couple hairs here. I'm just gonna poke, 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 poke. These are little short hairs. Okay, that's good. And so for this one, he puts a layer of alizarin crimson all over the whole thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll show you, I got my palette here. So I got my alizarin crimson, I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. I'm gonna kind of start, let's get in the middle here. It's all over, so. All over the whole canvas there. That that turned out really good, actually. Yeah, because that that was, that was one thing on this painting that that Bob did that kind of like kind of irks me because he's he's got the two trees right, and then like one of the trees, he puts he puts the um, the trunk like like right here, like almost like right at the very edge. And it's like, you never want to do that because it's, you're like leading the viewer's eye out of the, the canvas when you're doing that. So I, I like that you, you positioned it further in because I'm probably going to do that too. <laughs> so no, you, yeah, no, that, you did a good job on that. You need a red color. <laughs> and sometimes you see that too. Like, you, you know, you let it rest for a little while, come back to it the next day and see things like, hmm, maybe this, maybe this. You're, so that, that happens, but no, I, th I think I think that turned out really good. Pikachu. See, Pikachu agrees. <laughs> Indeed. And you put the little rock in there too. I think the first time I did this, I didn't do that rock. So I might do that rock today. Do, do, do. Yeah, th thanks Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu is an art connoisseur. <laughs> People don't know this one. <laughs> now, in addition to putting... Hold on. There's a shadow there. Pulse, can you turn the light off in the, the living room? I forgot to do that. It's casting a shadow from the... The camera here. I don't think you got you all can see it, but I can. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> but yeah, in addition to the alizarin crimson that he puts on all over the whole canvas, he puts a little bit of Van Dyke brown in the corner. So I think I'm going to do that too because I don't think I did that last time either. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That works. <laughs> see. Pikachu's having, having some popcorn. 
It was your fourth digital paint. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, just for the fourth. Dang. Marlick is alive. GG's. <laughs> GG's. Made made the weekend. <laughs> Survived the weekend. Indeed. <laughs> I'll go ahead and yeah, I'll go ahead and put a little bit of Van Dyke brown on the corners like he did. Just a little bit. I'll wipe that off a little bit. I'm just kind of blend what I already have in. Now here's the fun part because it's <laughs> it's a black canvas. You can't really see I'm putting on these transparent colors. So it's like <laughs> Marlick lives exactly. Diana G, welcome on in. Vega, welcome, welcome. Your accidental art with the red should be. Fi oh no! Oh no! Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're good. We're fine. We're totally fine. There we go. It's better now. <laughs> Slightly better. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> see, that's that's why you wanted the palette cam back. You wanted to see the uh, the the Rorschach paint splotches. <laughs> Oh dear. Anywho. Let's blend a little bit of that uh Alright. So now for the fun part we get to bring bring out all these colors. Put my liquid clear aside, don't need that. We're gonna go into cad yellow and we're gonna go start in the middle and kind of like work our way out. Make the little sunset back there. <laughs> Draw with his on the case. I know those would tell me, <laughs> yeah, someone would catch it, you know. Someone, someone, someone saw it and wasn't saying anything. But... You know, if you saw it, then you know, other people saw it too. All right, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a different brush for that. Um, this one's fine. I'll wipe off my knife too. Cause... that off. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. I try and protect you from the YouTube comments. <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm really slacking at it. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. So here's my cad yellow down here. Usually I have white in this area. Um, you could do this with white instead. It would turn a little more pinky. So I think that's why he uses the yellow instead. Makes it orangey. Or I think last time I did this, I did a combo of white and yellow. I'm gonna do it like Bob did it this time. So sunset's gonna be about here. So we're just gonna start in the middle here. We're just gonna kind of crisscross our way out. Bob said in the episode that he uh, he used this this painting a lot for classes. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Because I, I as I was doing or you know watching the episode, I, I, I thought like this. This would be a good one, good one for class. I love the uh, black canvases, so that's 
That was one reason why I would like it for a class. Wipe that off. I'm going to go back in and do another round here. This is also how the um, the one with the cowboy starts off. That that one's called campfire. Yeah, campfire. Thirty stream streak. What? Still wants to know what happens thirty-one streams ago. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's a few burps in a row there. <laughs> End ruler. <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> All right, let's get some more yellow. And we'll go back and make that a little, little brighter. I feel it's a little, little chunky bit here. I'm going to grab that. Boop, come on. Come on. There we go. I see red all over my hands already. <laughs> all right. Let's go back in again. doing these little crisscross, little crisscross strokes here. I'm running into that brown up there soon. Kunzi, mm -hmm. welcome on in. <laughs> thought maybe that's when the streak started but we were at least but then again I only stream twice a week though so math <laughs> also I am officially down 30 pounds from November uh, m maybe congrats so, so, sometimes it's good for people, sometimes it's bad for people, so I don't know. <laughs> Congrats if that was a good thing. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Congrats then, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Prestige. Welcome on in. The big flop of jam. I mean, if they are talking about it, it's good. <laughs> I want to thank you from the bottom math of my heart. Is hard. No math on stream. <laughs> I let other people math for me. <laughs> Welcome in, Adam. Oh, and thanks for the follow. MTK, what is up? <laughs> Welcome on in. And having painting is always, it, th that's right, the joy, the joy of painting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I still want this a little lighter, so I'm gonna go back in again with some more yellow. Oh, Lone Zaxio, thank you for redeeming. Beat the devil out of it. Let's go with, let's go with a two inch brush. This one needs it. Clean that off with some liquid. Oh no, wait, <laughs> not liquid clear, hello. Paint thinner. All right, let's go to our devil cam. Pew. And then we go. And then xylophone. All right, that was good. That was a good beat the devil out of it in xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard 
Exactly. Significantly less excited about that emote now that I know it's not a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I, I'll show you what it is. Hold up. One moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We're silly. We're silly here. <laughs> oh no. Oh. See there we <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh dear. What wait, wait, maybe we can put it on Cubone. Here we go. Maybe. Q is immune. He's immune. Yeah, he's immune. Yeah, yeah. Cubone's immune. They can be buddies. There we go. <laughs> Free hugs, exactly. Where did we get that? I don't know. It's been a long time. <laughs> Crazy. I feel like you need to put a <clears throat> cap on the paper towel holder that Cuban is holding, so it looks like he's holding a bone. He's already holding. He's got. He's got a bone in the other hand. He can. He can hold the paper towels for me. It's okay. Redeems wear the face hugger as a hat for the remainder of the stream for 2010 bits. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, you did the what now? All right, more of this yellow, just to be brighter. Probably should have used a two-inch brush, but that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just go in a couple times here. Up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better. Let's wipe that out. There's a reason we have horrible commands that we totally didn't make LG put in for us. Yeah, yeah. It's not very convincing when you're laughing at those. <laughs> exactly. Fashion, welcome on in. It's pretty, yeah, I've had a pretty pretty busy day just making videos and stuff like that, so. But, it's been pretty good, pretty good. I hope your day's been well. Well, good, good well. <laughs> I wear my heart on my sleeve. <laughs> Oh no, I'm being attacked. Not really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it called with face hugger impregnates your face? That pretty much that, I guess. <laughs> it's called phase two? Phase three? <laughs> I guess the egg if if the egg is phase one, maybe the face hugger is phase two. I don't know. Is there a term? There probably is. Big white bear, welcome on in. We had the um, the action figures back in the day, and like I want to say, like all the action figures came with a face hugger. I want to say. Now I'm trying to think. Were they different colors? Because it was really cool, like, the line had, 
you know, like the, the alien takes, kind of like takes the form of whatever the host is. So the, the, the xenomorphs we know are human-like, but yeah, if it takes like, well, there were action figures of like, like a bull version of an alien. And, and there was a gorilla one. There was a gorilla, the gorilla one spit water. I remember that. <laughs> we had a bunch of those figures. Was there a scorpion one too? I think. You become a host there, yep. But the actual action, yeah, I don't know. There's probably a term for it. I'm gonna go back in and kinda, just kinda blend that out there. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ooh. Okay, it's looking, looking like it's getting somewhere there. kind of blending this out and get rid of the brush strokes. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. Just maybe blend that up a little bit more. Okay, I think, I think that'll be good for a little Little sunset there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> they would have, yeah, they would have on the toy line. Yes, yes, yes. Our theory was that the face hugger implants some sort of cellular, cellular, cellular cluster or tumors that would force the host's body to construct the chest burster within, <laughs> thereby explaining how the chest burster can be gestating where it is as the host body grows it. That makes sense, yeah, yeah, okay. What is exactly accepted is that the face hugger does not in fact implant the embryonic xenomorph in the true sense of the word. No fetuses in interest in the body, yeah. So the face hugger deposits it. That, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. <laughs> HP on a 10 stream mystery. The hostess with the most, exactly. Your resident Google, wow, well, you know. You know. Yeah, no. I'm trying to think what else we had. I know we had, I know we had the bowl one, because I think the, the, the head like projected or something, and then the gorilla one spit water, and what else did we have? I can't remember the other. I, but they were all like, they had like slightly, di yeah, they, they were all, color just a little bit different like the gorilla one I think was blue so I think he came with like a blue face hugger I want to say and the the bowl one was red so it came with a red face hugger and then I want to say it was a scorpion one but it looked more like a you know like a regular xenomorph but I think that one was like yellowish goldish so is the action called face hugging <laughs> and spy. Well, come on in. It's amazing how I just imagine Bob explaining alien and maybe there is a nice happy little creature. It just wants to give you a hug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Did the toys come with comic books too? I wanna, maybe, maybe. It's probably a scientific term that would get me, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stand back just one more time there. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Well, you know what? Maybe, maybe just soften a couple areas right here. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Just soften it. Face hugger is yellowish. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Lord, welcome on in. Yeah, I was I was talking about the um, the action figures, how like 
like I think like the face huggers that came with the alien action figures were different colors like because the gorilla one had some blue in it so I think the face hugger that came with it was blue it was it was interesting nice MTK GG all right so now we go into kind of like the dark base color for everything so i'm gonna mix that up and that is just a lizard and crimson i kind of <laughs> trying to get rid of the uh the the shape that it was in i kind of mixed it up not very neatly, so. So all he uses for the uh, the base color for the rest of the painting is just Lizard and Crimson and Van Dyke Brown. Just mix that up. That's just a nice warm base color there. Okay, that's good. We'll need more later, but that's that'll be okay for now. Okay, so he's got a little little island back there. Island projection hill. Got a couple of trees on there. I can do yeah, let's let's just let's just go with the, the one inch brush again there. So I'll just tap in some of that color. And then happen or a little actually let me go back to the main picture again there we go let's tap in these little hills His hill goes up a little higher, so I guess I'll go up a little higher. Let's go wipe that off. This one a little higher too. There we go. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Cabin chance, 51%. They had several colors for different grades. Strains, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Sure, it kind of matches the painting. I try to do that on purpose, I do, I do. <laughs> this, is the, this is the shirt from the, from the workshop there. It's cool because it says like, established 1992 on the sleeve, I love that. <laughs> you can see it better there. Type of Girl Scout cookies, yes. I steal my resolve and Googled what is the action of face hugging called? And it was surprising, surprisingly wholesome. Not sure if I'm disappointed or not. <laughs> Did you specify that it was from aliens though? <laughs> not just a regular person hugging your face. <laughs> Good job on the palette knife only painting. I did my best to watch and play co-op. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, that's why I um I, I kept it up there just so like people can see if they didn't catch that stream. So so yeah, the painting that I'm pointing at right now, the one that looks a little ooh, there you go, a little more textured than the other two that are up there. So that one we did Thursday, and that was that was that's that Thursday, right? Yeah. Um that was with just a palette knife. <laughs> so every everything we did on that painting was with a palette knife. It, I think I just used the big one too. Can't remember if I switched the little one or not. I think I just used the big one the whole time. Painting is the best day somewhere ever. <laughs> Kevin and Earth, welcome on in. It looks yeah, it turned out pretty neat. Reminds me of the Breath of the Wild cover art. Ooh, yeah. 
Yeah, you're to yeah, you're definitely right. Especially the um, especially the sky for sure. Jennifer Hollywood, welcome on it. Exactly. Yep, knife <laughs> only painting. You got it. And then we got a huge raid of like 95 people right as I finished that painting, and I was like. Mm. <laughs> so I was thinking, mm, should I do a speed run? And then, and then Ruler redeemed Galaxy Painting, and I was like, yep, let's do a speed run. So then we did the speed run of the Galaxy One in the Middle one. So that was about half an hour for that Galaxy One in the Middle. So we did two paintings Thursday. <laughs> uh. All right. We've got some tree friends here. So even though they're, these trees are kind of far in the distance, so they're kind of small, I'm going to use the bigger fan knife. Fan knife. <laughs> it's, it's Monday. My brain is gone. I don't even know. <laughs> fan brush. <laughs> because the, um, the bigger fan brush is easier to get a chiseled edge on, so it's actually easier to do details with the bigger fan brush. So... I'm gonna load it up with color here. And then make it all chiseled. There we go. Chiseled. Let me do a little more there. It's all wavy. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we got we got one over here by his lonesome. So we just start it just like that, just a little, little line, and then go in with just the corner of the brush and tap in the branches. So he doesn't highlight these guys. He keeps these nice and silhouetted. So I'll do the same. I think I highlighted the ones in the, the other time I did it, but. You look like you were reeling in a fish. <laughs> oh, Mad Dog, nice, GG. I don't know, Mad, Mad Dog's sprite is a fisherman. So he, <laughs> he was reeling in the Pokemon. We got a new knife, a fan knife, exactly. That would be. Interesting. I'm I'm imagining that right now. It's the fan knife. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay, and we got three over here. We got three of them. But we got a whole bunch of well, some trees over here too, so I want to leave room for those. So let's have let's have one right here. Do 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 do. Reload, go back in, just the corner, the fan brush. Okay, give him some friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. Friends here, and let's make a taller one here. Here we go. Back in just the corner. So, when I'm doing my branches, I kind of go out to the side, come back in. Thicken it up in the middle. Branch will get longer as we go down here. And one more. One more tree. I think it's going to be right over here. Same thing. Let's start with the corner of the brush. Let's tap. 
with branches. As you go down the trees, more and more of the brush. All right, good deal. That's it for our background trees there. I'll go ahead and wipe off that fan brush. And then we're just gonna highlight, not the trees, but just the little hills back there. And he uses kind of like a, a greenish yellow, so. I actually do have some greenish yellow left over from another painting, so <laughs> we're going to use that. So I'm just going to tap in. I'm not adding any liquid white to this yet. I want to see if I can highlight with just this because the um, the cad yellow is a little little creamier than the um, the thicker colors, the Van Dyke Brown and the Alizarin Crimson. So this should stick a little bit. If it's not if it's not sticking enough, then I'll I'll add some liquid white to it. So I'm just kind of holding the brush horizontally and tapping that in there. Couldn't hear the stream, so I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> But it was right when you finished the knife painting. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start by burping, hold on. Okay, little one, little burp. So I'm gonna start with this little hill. I'm just gonna tap very lightly here. There we go. So I want these highlights to be very subtle. This is the furthest hill from us right now. There, that's good. So I'm gonna get a little, little lighter. I think I'm gonna use a little more, little more cad yellow. Probably gonna use this up today. <laughs> He's just hanging in there. So this time, I think I'll use a tiny bit of liquid white. I'm just gonna dunk my brush right in. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I'll show you here. I'm just gonna tap that right in. So this, this hill's gonna be a little lighter, a little more yellowy, because it's a little closer to us. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. I'm kind of looking at my brush, because I want all the bristles to be separated like that. I don't want any, like, gunky, gunky parts. I want it to be nice and even. Sir. So, back into our hill here. So I'm gonna start kind of like on the top of the hill. And kinda work my way down. So I have less paint on my brush now than I did when I started the top of the hill, but that's good, that's what I wanted. So it just kinda naturally blends it in there. And then I'm gonna flip my brush to see how I have the dark on, this, on the bottom there. And I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna flip it and tap it a little bit more. Make sure those bristles are not together. And put another little, another little hill in there. And same thing, I'm just tapping just right underneath. Just kind of blend that out. I'm tapping very, very, very lightly. Maybe a little bit more. too bright, you can always go in and just keep tapping on it and it kind of blends it in a little bit. I think that's good there for our little hills. 
And then we're gonna have some water right under, so let's make that water. <laughs> so needed a chill night. Went from fixing tooth to fixing tooth and filling a large cavity. Oh no. Ugh. Yeah, that's never, never fun. I don't like that Pokemon. Tangela. Looks like a big like shoe. <laughs> You're not wrong. It 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 does look like Big League Chew. <laughs> it really does. Which is what, yeah, exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> when I was in middle school, I would uh, ride my bike to the corner stores just a couple blocks away, and it was like, it was a corner store, so it was like a liquor store, but it was like, it had a bunch of candy and stuff. So, so yeah, like Big League Chew, uh, Laffy Taffy. I loved, loved Laffy Taffy. Now I had braces. So I mean, I was very, very careful when I ate my taffy. <laughs> very careful. Candy cigarettes, I would, yeah, all those, all those. Ring pops. Came in from the, the side. Odd spot and angle. Dentist was kind of surprised, but he knows the family history of odd stuff. Yeah, yep, there you go. Taffy and braces, that was a gamble. That was a big gamble. It really was. <laughs> it was. I would also, uh, well, I would, chew like sugarless gum because like when I got braces they gave me like this big old book right of do's and don'ts and one of the do's and don'ts was like you know chewing gum and but I noticed <laughs> somebody had taken a black marker and they they blacked out something but of course you know you could like put it to the light and you can read what it said. So it said what they blacked out was that you can chew sugarless gum because it's not as sticky, you know. But they, they blacked that out because they just didn't, you know, they didn't want you chewing, chewing gum at all. So, <laughs> which, you know, makes sense. But again, I was very, very careful. <laughs> I had braces for like two years, so. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the dip candy, which is just sugar colored. I think I have a Bob Ross version of that somewhere. It's like paint brushes. <laughs> Fun dip. I'm going to use, you know what? I'm going to use the same old brush. Uh, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty clean. So I'm just gonna go back into that yellow again. Tap, 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 tap. And then I'm just gonna go up to, well, I'm gonna start kinda here. Cause this is gonna be like the lightest part. So I'm just gonna It's gonna drag, drag that color down. Flip my brush around. So I'm just dragging straight down from where the land is there. So it's getting darker and darker towards the edge there. And again, if it's not light enough, I can go back in and put in more yellow. We'll see, we'll see. I think this should be plenty light. I don't want it to be too bright because it's kind of like sunset. Put a little more yellow there. See, that's why I love black canvases. They just have such cool effects. 
push a little harder over there and get a little more, a little more color. That's cool. We got like yellow and red and orange in there. Yeah, I'll reload and do one, one more round there. <laughs> I like this stuff. So I'm gingerly eating Pop-Tarts, yeah, because they're soft-ish and the fillings were on both sides. So like nothing hard until supper tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. You eat the stick when the sugar was gone. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Hey, LG, your Dragon Warrior painting stream popped up on my YouTube. Yay, yeah, good. <laughs> the algorithm is working sometimes. I'm trying to take care of myself. I got an electric toothbrush. Nice, nice. I've never, I've never had an electric toothbrush before. Does anyone have one of those like water flossers? Like, I don't know. I don't know if that would like floss as well. I used to be one of those people that like wouldn't floss. The only time they would floss is like, you know, when they went to the dentist. <laughs> but I've gotten, I've gotten a lot better. I've gotten a lot better. Um, not every day, but I floss like a couple times a week. So this is busy if you're lurking. <laughs> I floss a little bit, but I do notice the difference. Like when I wake up, my, you know, breath isn't as bad. <laughs> it does help. It does help. I think I, part of it was Mrs. Busy, like, discussing, like, what that stuff actually is. And I was like, ew. <laughs> so, so it did make me want to, it did make me want to floss more. Shadow bought himself one of those flossers. It sounds like he's jackhammering his teeth. <laughs> Vela, I have an electric toothbrush. I wouldn't go back to regular. I love it. Nice. That's awesome. Cool, cool. And welcome in. <laughs> I've seen people with them. I'm sure my wife won't let me have one. Something about toiletries are not supposed to be used as toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that squirts water, you know. <laughs> it's so loud. Yeah, I sacrifice a lot being a caretaker. Yep, yep, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, people don't realize. I use a manual, brush in the morning and electric at night. Power get them much cleaner. Hmm. See, the only thing I'm afraid of is, like I already have sensitive teeth, cause I was like, I've always been pretty pretty good about brushing, maybe too good, you know? <laughs> so, so now my teeth are a little sensitive, so. So now I'm worried, like, uh, if I do an electric toothbrush, is that going to be too, too much, too hard on the teeth? I don't know. So that kind of scares me. What's your autocorrect? You let me have, <laughs> you let that one through, but throw a hissy fit, transposing one letter into space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get sensitive brush heads. Oh, okay. I've developed sensitive teeth in the past couple of years too. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen like, I don't know, I, I've seen things saying that like, you can't like rebuild the strength of the enamel, but then I, you know, some toothpaste will claim that. So it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Or some, um, uh, what do they call it? Mouthwashes. They say that they strengthen enamel too, so I usually get those ones. The Crest Sensitive Toothpaste does a good job. Sensitivity in gum, I think it's called. Oh yeah, gum. Yeah, exactly. Nice. See, look at us talking about being healthy. <laughs> look at us. Gigi Marlick, you got Porygon. Sensitive toothpaste leaves a film on your teeth and really cuts down the sensitivity. I used to think it was BS, but it actually works. Why do YouTube? Why do you hate me? No. <laughs> you said YouTube was showing me, showing you my videos now. <laughs> so it only partially 
partially hates you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go in one more time with so some yellow here. Let's get a little, little brighter. And a little more right here. Let's get the corners. There we go. There. Okay. I think I'm good with the brightness there. I think that will be good. I'm not going all the way to the bottom because we got a bunch of bunch of foliage and stuff at the bottom. So it just recommended ASMR nursing assessment video. Oh dear. Yeah, my cavity was bad to where gums were inflamed and actually swollen in the cavity. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. And I have a generic brand water pick. Still don't use it. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't. Uh... <laughs> I haven't been to a dentist since I was 26 years old. I'm turning 40 next month. <laughs> so, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, dental insurance isn't what it used to be, so. Either love you or hate you. Yeah. Kunzi, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Kunzi, I don't know if you, you heard um, when, <laughs> when this painting was redeemed, I, uh, I told my little story about the first time I painted this painting. So um, I, was, I, was, uh, I was not patient and I touched the middle there to see if it was dry and it was not dry and I messed it up. I totally messed it up. I tried fixing it and everything. It's no, wasn't happening. So I, I, I messed it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when this one was redeemed, I was like, yes, I need to, I need to do this painting again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Thankfully that was off stream when I touched it. So, uh. <sighs> I'm trying to think. I did I take a picture of it after I messed it up? I probably didn't because I was so upset. <laughs> I was like, no. Uh, I was gonna go across and just make it nice, nice and watery. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's kind of kind of cool and wavy down there. That's kind of fun. Yeah, maybe a little more wavy up here. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And I'll just put. It's gonna put a little bit of a water line. I don't want it to be too bright. So. I've got some liquid white here, but I'm gonna dull it down. I think I'm gonna dull it down with some, with some brown. You got a little red in there, that's okay. That's okay. That should be good here. So I'm just mixing Van Dyke with some, Van Dyke brown with some liquid white here. I'm just gonna use that for a little water line at the edge. So I'm going to cut off a little roll of paint there. Okay. Do, 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 do. Actually, just dropped my dental insurance. Yeah. Yeah, we had an option to get it, but it didn't really cover anything. It covered like a cleaning or like two cleanings a year, and like that was it. But it's like that's what that's not what we need the insurance for is if, if, if 
you know, we need a lot of work. <laughs> that, would, that would be what we would need insurance for, not, not, not a darn cleaning. Like I said, I haven't had a cleaning since I was 26, so I think I'm doing okay, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think we're all right. <laughs> I've done that too with one of my, yep, yep. It happens, <laughs> it happens. You don't want to touch it on stream. We're <laughs> just rules about that kind of thing. Exactly. Something, something, no cactus spots. <laughs> Do you always put the same colors in the same spots on the palette? No. So what I do, Oh, I got, I got red. I got red on me. <laughs> what I do is I think Bob pretty much, he, he puts, he puts his colors in the same spot every time. Me, what I do is I put the colors on according to when I'm going to use them. So like, usually I'll put the sky colors like over here first, like if it's going to be blue or purple or whatever. So that's going to be over here. So that's going to be first. For this case, it was like a sunset, so the first colors were um, Lizard and Crimson and the Van Dyke Brown, so that's why those ones were first over here. And then um, next we're going to use like the, the dark base color, and then this is uh, Prussian, uh, Prussian Brown. <laughs> I mean, basically, it's Prussian Blue and Van Dyke Brown mixed together, which makes kind of like a grayish color, so we're going to use that for um, like the path down here. And then these are like the highlight colors down here. And then, yeah, I always use, um, I always put the, the white over here because the white you kind of use throughout the painting. So you go back there multiple times. But instead of white, he's using yellow as like the bring out the colors, paint and the highlight and everything. So, so instead of having white here, we're doing the yellow today. So, it's, so I, I just put them in, in the order that I use them. And I, I had somebody yell at me about that once. They were like, well, you don't put them in the same order that Bob does. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not Bob, you know? <laughs> I put them in the order that makes sense to me. And I do that for classes too. That way it, it, I, I can explain it better because it's like, it just, it just makes sense to me. You know, you're, you're working from, from left to right, like, okay, you're, one, two, three, four, five, you know, so, so I'll say like, oh, you know, you're going to use the third color that's on your table or whatever. So if it's like, you know, Prussian blue or something, then I'll say it's the third one in. So it makes, it makes that easier. Also, GG on the corn on the cob palette. <laughs> oh, wow. That does look like a, um, See if I can take a picture. Of course, you're seeing it upside down, so it looks better from where you are. Corn on the cob. <laughs> How fun. I think it's a little more green in real life, but that's fun. It kind of also looks like, oh my gosh, what is his name from Futurama? Kip? Is it Kip? <laughs> Again, what happened three months ago? <laughs> Gracie, you welcome on in. You, you were lurking. <laughs> so you saw the face hugger attack, so you're good. You're good. <laughs> you're all caught up. There you go. Prussian, blue, Prussian brown. <laughs> I have spots. Black is bottom right. Blues are left. Reds are top right. Yellows are center top. White is top left, brown or right side chaos. It's, it's whatever makes sense to you, you know? It's whatever works for you. Like, that's what Bob always said. If it works for you, then it's not wrong. <laughs> Looks like the Grinch holding a, holding a bottle of mustard. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I see the corn, but... <laughs> I see the corn and Kip. I think that's his name, Kip. I gotta look it up now. Oh, Kif, Kif, K-I-F. I was so close. I was so close. Let's see if I can make some eyes. I'm drawing upside down here, so. Ew. 
<laughs> Something like that. There we go. He's got eyes. <laughs> There. There you go. I didn't know he had a last name. Kiff Croker? Or Crocker? I don't know. Where's my Futurama people? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to put in a little water line. Let's see if this is, if this is too dark, I'll add some white to it, but let's, let's take a look and see. I think that's good. I think it's maybe a little bit more white. Just to change it up a little bit. Maybe, maybe. Betty Crocker, maybe. All right, on the palette, it looks like a red crock. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that, that part, the dark part, looks like a like a little leaf. The crock of blood. Chris, <laughs> welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Betty Crockett makes good game mixes. Yeah. Where's my... Oh, I moved all my things. Hold on, I have... <laughs> I did a show back in September, and so I made little little Korok stickers and, and uh, keychains and... <laughs> all sorts of things. And, um, and this, is, this is a temporary tattoo. <laughs> I have yet to use it. I gotta try it out. I gotta put my my little tattoo on. So that's 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 a thing. That's a thing we made. <laughs> We've been doing good. Yeah, Pulls Pulls has been busy working the night shift. So yeah, He's got got wacky wacky hours. But but it works. It works. He sleeps during the day, and then I can edit videos and film tutorials and stuff like that. So it works. Yeah, bleh. <laughs> Bronco, welcome on in. That tat is not dream stash, so I can't use it. I mean, we, we could make a tramp stamp version, I suppose. <laughs> Gracie, GG. Indeed, indeed. All right, let's get a little more white on this side. So Gigi and the Red Dragon Warrior painting. Thank you. Yeah, that was. <laughs> it it took a while, but it was it was worth it. It was worth it. I think it turned out pretty cool. Try painting a sky without the liquid white and immediately see why what I want is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and especially with the, um, that knife only painting. Now see, Bob, he did something a little different. He put like a wash on before. So he, he went in with the brush and, and put like, it was weird. It was, it was a mix of paint and paint thinner. So we had like brown and then blue in the sky and then he went in with the knife and I was like, no, we're doing all knife. <laughs> so yeah, so all the paint in the sky is with the knife. So it, so blending with the knife is just, it's, it's weird. So it's like definitely a thicker layer in the sky than normal <laughs> if we had used liquid white. But I might, might do that next time, like liquid white just just to start off, like just to see what the difference is, put yeah, I'd put a layer of liquid white and then go in and do knife knife painting. That would be interesting, just to see 
the difference in everything. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. These guys are brutal, just the knife for sure. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, man. I'll bring that water out a little bit here. Okay. Darker on the side here. Just saw that in. Okay. Well, yeah, it's good for the water line there. <laughs> Silly Larry, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we got our distant stuff there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go back to, I'll go back to the big old, big old brush here. Yeah, I know I'm gonna need more. Let's, let's, let's mix more of this base color here. Like I said, it's just Lizard and Crimson and Van Dyke Brown. So ugh, squeeze a bunch of Van Dyke Brown there. I'm just going to use that and put in the rest of the dark areas in the foreground there. Miss sure it is. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm being summoned to Discord. <laughs> Not a lizard. <laughs> I don't see a picture. Is there, is there a picture? I don't think the picture showed. It says you, you, you put the thing about the Grinch holding the bottle of mustard, but I don't see, I don't see a picture. There it is. There it is. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. Okay. Now I see it. Okay. That works. That works. All right. I'll let everyone else see it too. There we go. So now we can now we can see. Now we can see the Grinch holding the mustard. There it is. <laughs> Hooray. Exactly. There it is. <laughs> Crimson, all the brown, all that, all of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, wipe off the knife there. At least it's more wholesome than the last picture you're trying to show us of excellent art. My car rock. Yeah. <laughs> Korok lives inside the paint now. Alrighty. I'm just going to use a big old two inch brush here. Okay. So he's got he's got a big old tree over here. Da 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 and shrubs shrubs over here. Let's put some of these little shrubbies in here first. All the bushes and things. through that. 
water line there. over here. Tap, 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 tap. More. Okay. And more trees over here. This goes all the way up. Okay. A more over here. There, let's wipe off the brush. Gigi Marlick. <laughs> no canvases were harmed by tapping in the stream. <laughs> it's, canvas is fine, canvas is okay. Just fine. Stayed up late last night watching the for 4.5 hour Majora's Mask GDQ run. Ooh, not too tired, welcome on in. <laughs> I can't remember what they did. Did they do a randomizer? Or was it just a speed, or was it a speed run? I don't know, that electric brush feels strange on the front teeth. <laughs> It was a speed run. Nice, nice. Can't resist chuckling and saying to myself out loud, mm, sort of beat the devil out of it every <laughs> time I clean my brushes for real. See, there you go. Hopefully they played on 3DS. Ooh. I have not played the 3DS version of Majora's Mask. <laughs> I read this so fast and I was like, ooh, I want to see this painting. <laughs> yeah. Majora's Mask 3D is the best Majora's Mask and the best game on the 3DS. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I heard they made a couple like, like quality of life improvement type things. Step, step down from the unicycle soapbox. The vibration is insane. They feel better even after eating. Yeah. We were up so late for that relay rest <laughs> Okay, see so he puts a little, well he does, well he does put a little white in here. Okay, let's grab a little, little titanium white. <laughs> the thing I don't like about my power brush is that 
the rechargeable battery they use was garbage. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna put a little bit of white on there just so I can use it for tree trunks and sticks and twigs. There we go. That. Yeah, it's mostly brown. A little, little, little red in it, but mostly brown. So, cut off a little bit of that. Then we'll just poke a couple, couple sticks in here. Let's put a couple over here too. Just a couple here and there. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, maybe a bit more here. This one's a little fainter. And yeah, maybe a couple back here. Could do a whole tree trunk like that. Okay. Wipe that off. <laughs> you had to go to the pet store because I forgot. I'm gonna... Oh no! <laughs> it's okay, Boom Cookie. Thanks for stopping by and, and good luck on the pet store run. I don't have too much of a problem with mine. Let me try hooking up to a car battery. Oh dear. Bought a Philips Sonic here. The water pick was worth the money day one. Nice. I'm going to need another baby wipe here. There we go. Now I can get that stuff off my skin there. Oh, drink it. Thank you for redeeming it. Beat the devil out of it. Let us, let's do, let's do one inch brush. Let's do a one inch brush. Okay, and go to devil cam. And there we go. All right. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming. Beat the devil out of it. Electric paintbrush. Ooh. That might be interesting. Thanks for the time late. Not much time during the day. Majora's Mask was a highlight of what me and Future Rush got to see. Yeah. They got the incentive to do the mask boss fight blindfolded. <laughs> oh, man. Four guy, four guys, one controller. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Joe's favorite. Let, let you. <laughs> Team's LG paints with electric toothbrush for the rest of the stream. Ooh, if I had one, if I had one. <laughs> See, that's, that's something, something we gotta invest in. I found a web page that to show how one can replace the battery so you know how to solder I'll try that sooner or later <laughs> yeah what are you talking about oh dear <laughs> twitch my kid upset hearing that gg future rush nice oh a toothbrush <laughs> electric paint brushes and your brush yeah yeah <laughs> that's true all right, now we gotta start highlighting some of those bushes and things here. So, okay, let's do. I'm gonna start with 
I have some yellow ochre here. I'm gonna start with that because that's kind of like a nice, um, kind of like a dull, dull kind of yellow. Really good for fall. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag, pull up, drag, pull up, and I get this nice little, nice little texture there. And turn the rounded side towards the top. And we're just gonna highlight these little trees and bushes here. So these first ones I'm doing are just gonna be very, very subtle. Yeah, maybe a little more on that one. Ooh, let's, let's throw some yellow in there. I'm just gonna play with all these kind of fall colors. What about using your teeth as brushes? That would be tough. <laughs> that would be tough. I couldn't talk. I'd have to talk like this the whole stream. <laughs> or maybe I'd use like those those fake teeth, like the. Uh, like the vampire fangs and just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little more. Let's go. Maybe a little more. Well, actually, before I before I go there, let's put a little more yellow in. Let's get this tree highlighted here. Yeah, we're gonna use a ball seal. Oh, jeez. Oh heck, I might as well just, here, I'm just gonna dump it all out. Oops, I think I, I think it cracked open there. It's all over. Ooh. I can see the YouTube comments already. Why do you let those many people give you ideas? <laughs> No, the comments will be like, oh, I would love to see a stream where you paint an entire painting with your toothbrush. <laughs> Any ideas on easily painting long, tall grass like wheat? So what Bob does, I'll show you real quick. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna grab. So he's he uses the um, script liner. So you know, skinniest skinniest brush you got there. And then <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna put a little bit of paint thinner into uh, let's just use that same yellow ochre there. And yeah, maybe a little more. So I just put some some paint paint thinner into this yellow ochre uh, cad yellow mix there, and then I'm just kind of rolling the script liner into it just to get it as pointy as possible there. And then what he'll do is just kind of like start from the bottom and just kind of like with like one sweepy motion just go like that. So I'll show you. Yeah, just right here. So he goes like, choo, choo. Let me get a little more paint on there. Pew, like that. So see how it kind of starts stronger and then as we pull away, 
gets a little, a little more subtle. I'm trying to think of a painting where he does that. <clears throat> I can't think of a Bob one offhand, but there is a, um, there's a Nick Hankins one, and, and that one is on the, um, on the Bob Ross YouTube. And I think it's called Moonlight Dune or something like that. Let me go the, let me go the Bob Ross channel. Something, something Dune. Yeah, moon, Moonlit Dune, that's Fashion the one. Right out of the tube, all, I, all I'm looking for. There's Nick. Hey, Nick, how's it going? So, so it's like kind of near the end of this episode. Let's see, kind of when he does it. Okay, yeah, write it like like 46 minutes in. Yeah, he has these, it's like a seascape, but he has these dunes that are on the side. And in the dunes, he has these like sweeping grass, but that's exactly how he does it. Just, just swoop like that. It's like a real fast motion. So they look like they're real wispy. <sighs> wispy. <laughs> I hope that helps. <laughs> Paint with bicuspids, not molars. Yeah, definitely not molars. Definitely not. You have to take the molars out. We don't want to do that. <laughs> An actual toothbrush made out of teeth. No, no, no. No, no, no. You have to. You ha see that? That's that's one of those cases where yeah, you have to do the sound effects. <laughs> you gotta go. Yeah, look at that. See? You did, if you do the sound effect, <laughs> it helps. It helps. Oh, heck, let's do one on the other side. <laughs> Pew. Pew. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah. Pew. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that gives you an idea. <laughs> But yeah, you gotta thin it down with like a little, a little paint thinner to make it really, um, what's the word? Not watery, but yeah. Liquidy, I guess. Chaos, welcome on in. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Flow, I, yeah, yeah. More, yeah, more, more, gives it more fluidity, sure. <laughs> That'll work. And that's also what Bob does uh, when he's signing a painting. You know, he'll, he'll put paint thinner into the bright red to make it more, yeah, yeah lower viscosity, yeah, to make it more fluid. And what he will say is he, he says it makes it more ink-like. So he says, like, you're looking for, like, an ink-like consistency when you're, when you're doing that. I have, I have like a bump right here that's really itchy and I'm like, what is that? Probably my skin reacting to the paint because I'm <laughs> rubbing paint on my face. Ah. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> If it's red, you won't notice. If it's yellow, you might, you might see it. We'll just call them highlights. Yeah. <laughs> it's just happy itch, exactly. Let me grab another one of these guys. Sometimes I like have a bump like that and I find out later like, oh, there was a mosquito in the house. Like, yeah. There was a mosquito the other day at the front door. I was like, oh, I hope it's not that. 
I am getting some yellow out. Maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. Just rub some paint to that spot, LG. It'll help. It'll help the itching. Okay. So, uh, well, before we highlight this tree, let's let's give them um, let's give them a trunk. You know, now I can't remember. No, he did. He did do the trunks and the branches all with the knife. Oh, let's, so let's, yeah. Heck yeah, let's do that. Heck yeah. Actually, oh, here we go. So do I paint this way or this way? Let's, let's do this because the light's kind of coming from the center. So I'm gonna load, normally I'd load my life, my life <laughs> my knife this way. So let's load it this way so that we have paint on the other side. And then we'll, and we'll touch, touch the trunk here. Let me see where his is, yeah. Pull it a little thicker at the bottom here. I don't do too many branches on the other side there. We don't see that too, too well. That's good. Just yeah, a little, a little bit. Popping through. Yeah. That works. Let's go back to. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Makes me nervous when you put your brush hand on the back of your head. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm, I'm, now I'm like, oh, no, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going to grab a little bit of the white. There we go. highlighting little clumps of leaves here and there. I think I'm gonna change the flavor a little bit. Let's get some orange in there. color. Hope you like fall colors. <laughs> Just a little more at the bottom here. some green in there as well, but I'm gonna continue with this color a little bit. Let's do a little bush over here. That's good, let's wipe that off a little bit there. Brushes get a little, little gunky. He's so friend. <laughs> Oh, nice. GG, my dog. Yeah, that, that Pokemon always comes out in um, during Halloween for Pokemon Go. I 
think I want. Yeah, he put some bright red in here, so we'll put some red in. Because, oh look, I have, <laughs> I have a bright red that I need to use up. I think, I think that this is the first tube of bright red that I ever bought. Which shows you how much I use bright red, <laughs> which is not a lot. <laughs> and Bob doesn't use it much either, you know. He uses it for, for signing the paintings, which a lot of times he runs out of time and doesn't <laughs> get to sign the painting. But um, sometimes he'll, you know, use it in fall scenes like this, but, but not often, not often. Squeak. Mm -hmm. Let's grab some of that red. I'll mix it into that orange a little bit here. There we go. Let's do, you know, you know, Bob, he puts his firecracker kind of in the middle. He's got a couple, he's got a couple of them over here. Then he's got a red one over here too, which is kind of, kind of unusual. But I'll put, uh, definitely put a little firecracker over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh yes. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good firecracker. Yes. So that was bright red mixed with, um, well, a little, little leftover Dragon Warrior paint there. <laughs> So the leftover Dragon Warrior paint was a bright red, cad yellow, a little Indian yellow. So that was that max mixed in with the uh, the bright red there. <laughs> Dancing Dino. Let's put another one. Oh, maybe maybe hiding right here. Man, I like that red. Anywho, let's wipe that off. Get, get some more yellowish green in there. You guys hear the dude who did the voices for the Mogwai and Slacious Crumb? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That's, that's sad. I always like Slacious Crumb. He's just so ridiculous. <laughs> it's important. It's important. It's important we know, I think. I feel Steve's coming on, so I apologize in advance. I had to turn this way on, so ignore me. Sometimes that happens. All right, let's go back to green and yellow. Let's do a little highlighting. Yeah, let's go, let's go here. Here too. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I like that green, that pop of green there. And we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit over here. This is gonna be behind these big old trees here, so. It's gonna be a little more on the subtle, the subtle level. A little softer. Oh. Uh oh. Professor, goodness gracious, 33 months, how? 
How, how, how? That is just, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost an entire year. It's amazing. The years just fly by. The cheese wheel, <laughs> Roller's favorite. The cheese Pokemon. Let's grab. Uh, let's grab a little bit of that yellow ochre. Ooh. There we go. There, I like that. Okay. So we're just kind of going back and forth between colors here. Highlighting. So this is a really good one if you want practice on uh, highlighting bushes and trees. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, let's get a little, a little of that green in there. Let's actually, I'm going to pop it over here, just kind of test it. Maybe, yeah, maybe grab a little bit of this down here. Yeah. Okay. Just have a duller, duller type green here. cool. <laughs> Let's throw another yellowy green bush over here. Okay. Just gonna wipe that off. Actually, you know what? I kind of like that color. I'm even gonna tap a little more in. I'm gonna use it for like a little grass on the on the side here. Just tap a little bit down here. Is so we're gonna have a little pathway down here? Like these ones are. Yeah, it's like that's better. There. He basically just has more, more bushes in that area there. So. In that case, let's wipe that brush off. <laughs> These were cats, welcome on in. Hands consider my brain orders. I'm in here. Indeed. Indeed. LG looks at my message, immediately turns back to the painting. I don't even know, <laughs> I don't know what it was. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, God. Have I told you that 
I was once kidnapped by a gang of mimes. They did unspeakable things to me. Well, that was very appropriate because there was a Mr. Mime. So there you go. Very appropriate. <laughs> Gigi Professor. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and finish up these trees up here. Let's do that. Like I was saying earlier, so Bob puts two trees here. This one, one, the one, this one right over here is like right on the edge of the painting, and it just like, ah, it irks me because it's it's too close to the edge. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put dark in. Uh, you know what? Let's let's put it on. Let's put it on the other side of the knife here. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this one kinda growing up here. Right there. That's where you live. Right there. Okay. And then I'll deal with the other one later when I get that path in. Now, Bob uses, like I said, he uses a mix of Prussian blue and Van Dyke brown for this little path. I guess we'll do that too. Or maybe it's kind of like a grayish blue. So what I'll do is I'll mix it in with the brown. There we go. Make it a little more uniform there. Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. Cut some of that off. And then, just gonna lay in a little path. <laughs> more, more knife painting. There we go. And let's just do, grab a little white. And highlight some of that. Just kind of Slide that over. Try and make up here a little darker so it looks like it's kind of going back there behind the trees. Good for a little path there. A little bit lighter. Okay, I think I like that. Is 
you said, GG, here you go. <laughs> Mix it up. Okay. And that's good for a little path here. So let's go ahead and use that same color. We'll highlight my little tree up here. So I'm gonna load it on the other side of my knife so that I can, ooh, now I have to wedge myself into the corner here, so. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs> so I'm gonna go from this side and just kinda, kinda like how we do the birch trees, just drag, drag. Like that. Get a little thinner, a little thinner strip of paint. More. Got a little dark. Let's get some more white in there. Feel the burp coming on? I know. <laughs> dragging the paint. Dragging the paint. Stickly stick -y tree. <laughs> Remember stick stickly? <laughs> Is that Nick Nick Jr.? Something like that. Oh, it's a fun tree. I like that tree. I like that tree. Okay. Let's wipe that off. Dragon would be a cool dish thing. <laughs> Back from work. GG. GG on the work. Bam, wow, wow, wow. Let us. Yeah, because this way is. Okay, I see, I see. So let's highlight. Let's highlight this tree. I want a little bit of red in there. A little bit of red. Okay, so let's grab a little bit of liquid white. So I got my my orangey, orangey red over here. There we go. Let's tap a little red in there. Okay, that should be good. Let's test it. Test it out. Be kind of a uh, peachy. Oh yeah. The highlights right at the top of the canvas. I want a little, a little darker. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, there's that red. There's our red. There's our red. Oh. <laughs> Bring me back to fall. It's a little bit brighter up here. Just a teensy bit. Yeah, here we 
we go. Oh, I'm obsessed with this tree now. <laughs> little tree. Hmm. We'll still put the other tree here, but maybe we'll make them a little shorter. We'll cover up that, that tree. <laughs> yeah, ex except this nice piece of candy Pokemon. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. Maybe I'll put a little more of the red over here. Ha ha, yeah. <laughs> I'll put some red over there too. I can, I can put some red there. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of got brighter towards here. So it is kind of leading your eye whew, like back in. That's kind of fun. That's kind of nice. Oh, since we've got a little of that red, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> I know, I know. Mm -hmm. oh, let's just put maybe a little, maybe a little shrub over here somewhere, like right there. There. <laughs> All right, let's go back to greenish. I'm just gonna wipe out. Same old brush, just using the same old brush for all this. It'll be a happy little, <laughs> happy little little tree. <laughs> or we could put the tree over here and just kind of leave it kind of dead. Let's put no leaves on them. Or, 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 since it is kind of like a birch tree, we could just put another trunk right there because, you know, birch trees, they do that. They kind of split. Pew, pew, pew. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Take some of that brownish color here. Cut some on this side. And we'll just... That's what we'll do. Yeah, okay. And wipe that off. A bit of the highlight color. And then just go in and There, dilemma solved. Aha. Aha. <laughs> Retrofile, look, come on in. <laughs> I was going through my head because, because yeah, when, um, so this is the Bob one, and he puts two trees over here. He puts little, 
birch tree over here, but then he puts another tree that's like literally right on the side. It's like a centimeter away from the edge of the canvas. And I was like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. That doesn't, yeah. So, so I was contemplating what to do. And then, but I love that little tree so much with the, the red and everything. I was like, oh, I don't want to cover him up. So I was like, okay, let's just make it a split birch tree. Let's just, let's just do that. Let's just do that. <laughs> I hope you've been doing well. Have you started the new job? Bob was a wild one, like to live on the edge. Yeah, exactly. And um, it was that whole thing of like, you know, putting a, a huge tree in the middle or wherever, or sometimes like on the, right on the edge like that. And, and he knew, he knew that people didn't like it because he wanted you to do something else in your painting. He, that's always, he always said, he's like, you know, people always get on me about these, you know, putting the big old tree in the middle. Well, when you do your painting, you can leave that tree out. So he did that on purpose so that you wouldn't put that tree in there. <laughs> Two weeks into the new job, still an HR training hack. Hey, that's, that's all right, that's all right. If you're getting paid for the training, then that's, then that's good. <laughs> nice. GG on the mudfish Pokemon. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight a little bit of yellow and red. Just a little bit on this guy, because he's kinda he's kinda hiding back here, so yeah. Just a little. Paint is getting thick though. I, I haven't heard anything since um, since Cuz was was in stream the other um, the other week, so I don't I don't know if she's out of the hospital or not. I haven't I haven't heard anything since, so yeah. Unfortunately, Bob doing things out of spite. You know it. You know it. Or he would say how, um, you know, a lot of times in the art world, you put things in in odd numbers. And so th this one's a perfect example. So <laughs> you would want to put like an odd number of trees. I mean, he still did put like a, like a grouping of three, but in total he put four trees back here. So he, so he says that in one of the episodes, he's like, sometimes just to, just to piss the critics off, he, he does even numbers. <laughs> so. But you'll see him do both. Yeah, yeah. So I've been, uh, I've been holding down the, uh, the Bob Ross chat <laughs> during the days when I can, anyway, because you know weekends are busy. So, so I'm, I'm there when I can. I mod when I can. So he's just poking out from behind there. That's good. I like that. I like that. I 
can someone mod my neighbor's dog? She's been barking for like six hours straight. Oh my gosh. Ugh, that is the worst. That is the worst. <laughs> Eat it banned. <laughs> We're banning, banning this dog from the outside. <laughs> oh, we need a little bit more liquid white here. That paint's kind of thick. There we go. Better. Okay. Let's do put a couple of bushes in there. Oh, that was a little brighter than I thought. That's okay. That's okay. We can always dull it down if we want. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. Um, I think his, his tree might come over a little bit more. I'll show you his real quick. He, uh, he covered up a lot of the water, but I think the water looks cool. I'll show you, I'll show you his. Let me clean up a sec here. Get a dog whistle and blow it at 3 a.m. Your neighbor gets woken up by the dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, not even sure anyone lives there. Oh no. Let's hope, yeah. Sometimes a car stops by. The dogs go inside, otherwise the dogs are just on deck all day. That's the worst. Ugh. How many, how many dogs? Because that could be a problem too. Like when dogs are, you know, left alone and in like, uh, you know, in a pack, they get that pack mentality and it's that, that could be dangerous. Four, oh, yep. But it's only one that barks constantly. That's weird. <laughs> the yellow ridge really stains. Well, you know what? I'm almost done anyway. <laughs> I might as well finish it and then show you this. <laughs> I didn't realize how close I was to being done. <laughs> Let's just finish it. We have like two more bushes to put in. It's like, yeah, like nothing, like nothing. Yeah, see, I dulled it down a little bit over there and just touched it a couple more times. Let's get kind of that greenish color going. to that yellowish green and put just a little bit of grass on the bottom there. Oh, I forgot the rock. Oh, he did put a rock in there. Okay, let's, let's throw the rock in. Let's throw the rock in. Because I know I didn't put the rock in last time I painted this. So we'll just put a little, just a little stone there. Mm. <laughs> yep, he puts the path in like one little rock, one little rock. There we go.
Yeah. A little more dark in there. Yeah. That's good. We'll just put some grass around. meets the rock there. Yeah. Where the grass meets the rock. <laughs> he spent so much time in the... Oh no. <laughs> or what? So much time in the Friday night metal party. How could you forget the rock? He needs a friend. Yeah. I guess the path is the friend. <laughs> Why is the bot tagging me? Hmm. Drop it over. Welcome on in. Oh, the auto catch. Oh, is that what it was? That's pretty good. So let me um, let me show you Bob's real quick. I think I'm I think I'm happy with mine. Now, mind you, this is like you know like a screenshot from the the TV the TV show from the '80s. So so this is Bob. This is Bob's there. Ta-da! The path goes a little further there. So that's mine. Mine's a little I think a little darker, but. I really like that birch tree there. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my favorite. All right. Da, 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 da. So I'm catching Pokemons unwillingly. Yeah, yeah, you can. There you go. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> and then Mad Dog wants, Mad Dog wants them all. Well, he wants every, every Pokemon except for missing no. No missing no. <laughs> Slime Diffuser, he's he's still hanging out. He's um he's a little further. He's he's well next to the treadmill. He's he's still around though. <laughs> we might have to find a might have to find a happy home for him. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So I think we're gonna we're gonna call that rascal finished. So that is my my second version of this one, and I am not touching this thing for like four weeks. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm not going to mess it up like I did last time. No, 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 no. Exactly. All right. And on that note, I'm going to yawn. I didn't find a friend to read. Ooh. Oh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Check two men. <laughs> Thanks for stopping on by. Thanks to the GGs, Fresher and Jackson, Future Rush and Ruler. <laughs> All right. Do do do. See who we got. And there you go. At least a couple more times. Okay, there we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Thanks to GG's Big White Bear, Lawrence Oxio, Trinket, and Shadow. <laughs> Thanks.
Thank you, thank you. It's nice to get like a like a fall feeling one in the well, not the middle, but I guess beginning of spring. It's definitely spring now here for us in Florida. They got the, the, the wildflowers that grow on the side of the road, the, the pink wildflowers. I always like seeing those every year. Bingo, you forgot about bingo. No, sorry. <laughs> and it's like every time I look at my phone after, well, you know, when I'm looking for someone to raid. Mm -mm 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 Come on, show me more people. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I know there's more people. Show me. Ooh, popcorn cannons on. I don't get to raid him very often. Might, might go over there. Just want to look and see. See all the people that are on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Wells is doing OBS things for a stream. <laughs> Professor Retro is doing balloon fight. Nice. That's a good. That's a good. One. 65 degrees there. Uh, well, it's it's 66 here right now in Florida. Well. Central Florida, but that's oh, nighttime. It was it was pretty hot yesterday, and then it rained, so it it brought it down a little bit. So that was good. Yeah, let's go. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go raid our friend Popcorn Cannon. Popcorn Cannon is one of the most positive streamers you'll ever encounter. So <laughs> you'll you'll definitely have a good time. You'll definitely have a good time there. He's just so positive, so happy all the time. <laughs> and it's like he's speed running, but like not like super seriously, you know, and things don't go his way it's like ah whatever you know it's it's all whatever because it's just just about having fun so so he's he's a he's a fun 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 streamer so let's go ahead and raid popcorn cannon uh yeah exactly so um <laughs> if you if you want a raid message we can do um we are here to hang and bang <laughs> we are here to hang and bang. Hang and bang. There you go. There you go. See? So you can you can use that. You can use ruler's message. You can you can choose your own choose your own adventure there. Let's see. Hopefully we can we can catch this gold duck before before we run over there. We are we are here to hang and bang. Come on, Golduck. I have does look much like a duck. It's it's an evolved duck. It looks a little more like a platypus. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. GG. <laughs> GG on the gold duck. And I have I have no idea what I'm doing for Thursday. I don't think we have any redemptions for Thursday. So, not sure. Yeah, not sure what I'm doing for Thursday. We'll we'll figure it out. I'll come up with something. So, <laughs> happy time zone, everyone. Take care. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But in the meantime, have fun. Be safe. Wear your seatbelt. <laughs> Do it. And uh, and I will see you around the Twitchiverse. Bye.